what is going on everybody welcome back to another detroit lions video now throughout the nfl season throughout the 2020 season the detroit lions have had a lot of ups and a lot of downs but one of those ups and one of the best parts of this team this year has been the special teams play and in today's video i have to talk about them i have to talk about every player on the special teams every player that has contributed and i just had to give credit to this special teams unit and Braden coombs because they have truly been the best part about this lions team this year and they absolutely deserve some credit so in today's video I will be going over the special teams, what they have accomplished this year, how good they actually are, and just talk about, you know, give some credit to Braden Coombs and the special teams unit. So before we do get into the video though, if you are new to the channel and are enjoying this Detroit Lions content, please consider liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. It helps the channel out so, so much and it helps me out so much more than you could ever know. Without any further ado, let's get into talking about this special teams and how good they actually have been this season. Now, before we can talk about the current special teams, we have to talk about how they came to be. Now, the Lions have had a really good special teams for quite a while. I would say they've been about top 10, you know, maybe, you know, a little outside the top 10 for quite a while now. And they've been a very good team. You know, they've been the strength of the Lions for a while. They've been really, really solid. They've been very efficient for a long time. But this offseason, the Detroit Lions decided they were not content with good. They wanted to be great on the special teams, and they went out and signed a defense or went out and signed a special teams coordinator in Braden Coombs. Now, Braden Coombs in 2019 actually coached the number one special teams in the NFL with the Cincinnati Bengals. And, you know, the Lions decided they wanted to go out and get that guy. They wanted to go out and get the best coordinator they could for the special teams. And it's really the first time in the Quintricia era that they made a, a win now move. They made a winning signing and they went out and they were not happy with good. They were not content with good enough. They wanted to be great at this position and they went out and got the best guy for the job. Now, why they haven't done this with other coordinators and other coaching staff, I am unaware. This signing in Brigham Coombs was the first time I felt like the Lions weren't content. They weren't happy with good. They wanted great. And so they fired a dude in, I don't even know who our last special teams coordinator was, but they fired him. And the Lions, I believe, were ranked seventh last year in special teams. They were a top 10 unit last year, but they the Lions weren't happy with seventh. They wanted first. So they went out and got the dude that made the, and they went out and got the guy that coached the number one special teams a year ago. We went out and made this huge signing. We went out and got Braden Coombs, who coached the number one special teams in 2019. And so far, Braden Coombs has not disappointed. Now, starting with the punting, starting with the punter in rookie Jack Fox, he has been absolutely phenomenal this season. He's had 29 punts, which is 17th in the NFL. However, in those 17 punts, he's punted for 1,530 yards, which is 5th in the NFL. He has a long of 67 yards on a punt, which is 4th in the NFL. He averages 52.8 yards per punt. Every single time he punts, it averages over 52.8 yards, which is by far the best in the NFL and he has punted 10 of his 29 punts inside the 20. So every almost one out of every three punts is down inside the 20 and that is a huge testament to Jack Fox but more importantly that is a huge testament to our punt coverage and our punt coverage unit the guys that actually get down there and down the ball. And again, we'll talk about them in a little bit but focusing more on Jack Fox right now you know Jack Fox has been the most efficient punter in the NFL. He really has been. I mean, he averages the most yards per punting attempt. He has, you know, about one third of his punts are down inside the 20. He has the fifth most punting yards in the NFL while only having the 17th most attempts. Like, bar none, he has been the most efficient kicker in the NFL, the most efficient punter in the NFL. And, you know, as a rookie, that is, yeah, that is almost unthinkable. You know, Jack Fox even went as far as to win Special Teams Player of the Month in September, which is the first time a Lions punter has ever ever received that award so i mean especially from the punting side of the ball the special teams all around has been great but especially from the punting side especially from the guy that's actually punting the ball and giving field position jack fox has been elite and he is the best punter in the nfl this season he is the best punter in the league and it showed in september when they gave him special teams player of the month and it shows when you look at his stats and when you look at his play looking at the punt coverage team as we talked about earlier the punt coverage team has been so so good as well obviously as i 
said, downing 10 of Jack Fox's 29 punts inside the 20, setting the lines up with fantastic field position all season. I mean, overall, they're just a fantastic unit. They allow only 54 yards per They've only allowed 54 punt return yards this season, which is ninth in the NFL, and they've had three punt blocks this season, which is by far the most in the NFL. I mean, if you look at the special teams from the punting unit and the coverage unit, they are elite. I mean, they have the best punter in the NFL, they have one of the best coverage units in the NFL, and they've blocked the most punts in the NFL. I mean, this special teams unit is really, really good. They are one of the best in the NFL, and that is a huge, huge ups to Braden Coombs, but even bigger credit goes to Bob. Quinn for you know for the first time in his tenure not being satisfied with good he has he wasn't satisfied with good on the special teams so he went out and got somebody great and that's the mentality great teams have great teams can never be satisfied with good enough they can never be satisfied with you know average they can never be satisfied with above average as an NFL franchise if you want to be successful you cannot settle for good you have to achieve and you have to strive for greatness and that's what they did when they hired Braden Coombs you know, the only real part of the special teams that hasn't been as good this season is Matt Prater. He is only 70% on his field goals. He does have a long of 51, but he has been a bit more inconsistent this year. He is 14 for 20, as I said, with that 70% field goal percentage. He has been a little off this year, but that is not on Braden Coombs. You know, Braden Coombs is giving him good protection. He has not had any blocked this year. The Lions have not had a single punt or kick blocked this season, as well as they haven't allowed a single touchdown on the special teams. So, I mean... It, that's not Braden Coombs' fault. You know, Matt Prater is just having a down year. He's regressing a little bit. And as good as Matt Prater has been for the Lions for a long time, he's just starting to regress. That happens in players. When they get to Matt Prater's age, when they get a bit older, players tend to start regressing a little bit. That is not on the coordinator. That's just how life works. That's how NFL careers tend to go. And, you know, even with Matt Prater being a bit more inconsistent, he still shows up in the clutch. He still shows up in big moments, as we can attribute at least two of our three wins to Matt Prater. I mean, he kicked the game-winning field goal in Arizona and he kicked the game winning extra point in in Atlanta and that wasn't an easy extra point as you know Danny Amendola had kind of a goofy foul and set the lines back even farther so you know as as inconsistent as Matt Prater has been as many field goals as he has missed this season he has come up, he has come up in the clutch over and over and over again he has won us uh, he has single-handedly won us two football games and you know Matt Prater might not be as consistent as he used to be but he is still clutch in big moments and he still hits a game-winning field goal. If you need Matt Prater to hit a game-winning field goal, I still have full faith in him that he can do it because he showed me this season that he still has the ability to be clutch. He still has the ability to kick 50, 60-yard field goals. He still has the leg. He still has all the tools, and all he has to do is get a little bit more consistent. I don't know why he's off this year. It's just probably age, a little bit of regression as far as playing standards, but he is still one of the better kickers in the NFL. He still has a 51-yard field goal on the year. He still has kicked two game-winning field goals, one field goal, one extra point. And he has still been fairly solid this season. He's been probably the weakest part of the special teams. But when Matt Prater is your weakest part of your special teams and Matt Prater has kicked two game-winning field goals this season, that's, I mean, that says a lot to your special teams. And that says a lot to the standard of your special teams. Now, I mean, flat out, our special teams is just one of the best in the NFL. You can make an argument that they're the best in the NFL. I mean, they put the Lions offense and defense in fantastic field positions. They have one of the best punters in the NFL. They have one of the best punter turners in the NFL. They have some of the best coverage in the NFL on those punt and kick returns. I mean, they get down there fast. They set the Lions defense up in phenomenal positions on kickoffs. They set the Lions offense up great on kick returns. They set the Lions defense up great on punts and kicks. Like, I mean, this special teams unit is one of the best in the NFL and they deserve the credit. They deserve to be recognized. And in this video, I wanted to recognize this team from Jack Fox to Austin Bryant to Miles Killebrew and Jamal Agnew and everybody that's contributed to this special teams unit, including including and especially Braden Coombs, the special teams coordinator. This team has been great. This special teams unit has not been good. Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn have not settled for good on the special teams. They have achieved greatness. They have strived for greatness, and they have achieved that in Braden Coombs and this special teams, and that is the mindset they need to go into with that for the rest of the season. You know, for as long as Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia are here, they need to be like Braden Coombs. They need to achieve greatness. They need to strive for greatness. They cannot be content with good enough. They cannot be content with a middle of 
the road offense. They cannot be content with a middle of the road defense. They need to strive for greatness. They need to be great. And Bob Quinn needs to set his personal biases aside. He needs to look at the numbers. He needs to look at the film and he needs to decide what would be great for this team. Bob Quinn, you know, strive for greatness here. He did not settle for good. He wanted great and got great. And I know, why are we doing that with just the special teams? Why is Braden Coombs the only person and why is the special teams the only unit that has been held to that standard of being great? That is what I don't understand. That is what I, you know, don't understand about this team because we've seen Bob Quinn make this move, right? We've seen him go out and fire a dude that coached the seventh best special teams in the NFL and he went out and got a dude that was the best special teams coordinator in the NFL. So why can't we do that again with other positions? You know, why can't we do that with an offensive coordinator? Why can't we do that with a defensive coordinator and a head coach in every single coaching position? Why in every other circumstance do we settle for average when in the special teams unit we have to achieve greatness? You know, the Lions and Bob Quinn has shown that he knows that he can't settle for good, but he continues to do it with Matt Patricia and he continues to do it with all the other coordinators and coaches. Now, you know, with all that being said, that is all I have for you guys today. Again, I just wanted to recognize the special teams, recognize what Brayden Coombs has done, recognize what all these players have done, and just give them the credit they deserve because they have truly been the best unit of the Detroit Lions this season, and they deserve all the credit in the world. Now, with all that being said, that is all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. If you're new to the channel, please consider liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. It only takes two seconds out of your day to do so, and it helps the channel out so, so much. So if you could do that, I'd be greatly appreciated for it. But with all that being said, that is all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you all tomorrow with more Lions content. Thank you all for watching. Bye, guys.